turn 45. Good news. I'm joined now by Dr Naomi Potter, who co-authored the book Menopausing. We were talking about that earlier on with Davina, weren't we? Um, good idea. Are you happy? Is this a good thing? I think it's, yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, yes, isn't it? it? You're sort of getting an absolutely. MOT at 45. Absolutely, I like it. yeah. yeah. I hope happens, they don't just it's... talk about it and then it doesn't happen. Yes. That's, this that's this is thing, an amazing it? idea, I think. I, absolutely. Life-changing for women. Absolutely. There's lots of myths around the menopause. You, you crack a lot of them in, in the book, obviously. HRT yes. being one of them, because I think people are still a bit frightened about HRT. They are, uh, and it's such a shame because it can be brilliant in, in the right hands and in, sure. a, and in the right person. Um, there was a couple of papers that came out a long time ago that really made us very fearful of using mm -hmm. HRT, but actually the, the more recent data suggests that it's really, it really is very safe. Yeah. Um, it's changed my life. We were talking about that earlier on, weren't we? Yeah, it, it totally. really has. It's, uh, it's got, my husband said to me, oh... I've got you back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was, that's what it was like. And it's such a balance, though, yeah. isn't it? It isn't a, a sort of sudden fix. So women, sometimes you have to, if you do go on it, mm. it there are so many different types you can take, sure. but it, it, it does take a bit of tweaking. Yeah, you've just got to get the right the right time. We've had so many questions. Naomi is um, is uh, oh, well. We've got so many other ones. Let me let me go to Emma. First up, we've had Emma amongst others talking about alternatives to HRT. What do we think? What do we think about that? There, there are lots of alternatives to HRT. It depends on what you're using those alternatives for. Okay. Um, so HRT is very safe. And so when you hear about women looking for alternatives, you've, the first question is, what, you know, why are you looking for an alternative? Right. Um, but if it is because you can't take H or, uh, HRT, then it really depends on what symptoms you've got. And then there are medicines that can be targeted for that. Right. Um, but also it's looking at somebody as a whole. And, so, and there's lots of things that you can do in terms of lifestyle mm -hmm. to really improve quality of life and symptoms. And although it sounds a little bit cliched, actually it isn't. It really works, like dropping alcohol, dropping sugar, exercising, all of those things can make a massive difference. And you do that, Davina, don't you? Because you don't... Sugar was... I remember you did that brilliant book about that. Yeah, and I mean, um, uh, you know, I'm lucky in a way because I'm also sober, like Scott, and yes. um, so that's quite helpful in a way. And there's so much sugar in booze, so we forget about that. And exercise is amazing for mental health. And you, you know, that do... That low mood. And... Yes, you, you're renowned, renowned for the exercise. <laughs> Renowned she is. <laughs> but it does make a massive difference to your mental health and your physical health as well. On that note, Leslie says that she's looking for advice on what is called the menopause belly. We all know that, don't we, when you get that sort of thickening of the waist and your tummy starts uh, sticking out and you gain weight, you feel tired. You, you do. So during the perimenopause and the menopause, the, where you store fat changes. So when we're, when we're younger, we tend to store fat peripherally, so in the arms, legs... Face. Right. And then as you go more towards midlife and then beyond, it, it changes. So you tend to store fat around your around your organs and around your middle. Right. Um, and you do tend to put weight on with increasing years and you also tend to lose muscle. And so that all contributes to that change, change of shape. Yeah, and that and can it's make you hard, tired. It's yeah. really hard to lose. It's much harder to lose Isn't than other weight. But I think keeping your muscle strength is really important. So strength training, right. which feels counterproductive sometimes, but actually is really important for us as older women to keep that muscle. And also not forgetting that diet's really important. Yeah. You know, I've found that I need to eat less than I used to in You're my so right. 30s and 40s, yes. portion control. You know when before you could, you could, but yeah, you have to, in portion control, that's the thing. That is the thing mm. that gets you through it. Now, we talked about this as well, because, you know, you were getting your texts um, in, in the middle of the night just when you'd been for a wee. Um, Kate says she needs to go to the loo a lot more often <laughs> Then she she gives me a really hard time about this. <laughs> she goes, stop going to the loo. I say it's a nervous yeah, wee, yeah. Naomi. I can't help it. I do it. I always do an emergency wee before I leave the house. I do yes. that. <laughs> She's saying, don't Ladies. do it. <laughs> but, then I'll, but then I'll need. But you're, you're, <laughs> We have a joke about the walnut bladder. Uh, but essentially, that's, that's kind of what it leads to. So the more you do your emergency wees, yeah. the, the, the smaller your bladder capacity will, beca will, will become oh, over time. So I'm making it worse. So you, you <laughs> Potentially, yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> so so we've got to hold on to it, but not until we're absolutely bursting. That's what she said. Hold right. on for as long as you can. Right. And then when you absolutely have to go. 
So but don't, when, the when emergency you, yeah, we is counter. When you when you need to go, then 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 do Again, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't yeah, don't go just before you, you're leaving the house. Don't go. Yeah. I mean, she go caught before. me doing an emergency <laughs> wee before the show, and I felt like I'd been caught she doing something she really wasn't going to, <laughs> and then went and did it anyway. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! But it's 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 true. I mean, I do it all the time. I do it all the time. So just hold, hold, hold. It's good for you. Hold until yeah. I mean, if you really need to go, you must go. Of course. If you hold onto your in two, you know, for longer than it's supposed to be there. Yes. Then you can be more prone. I'm doing it now. Prone to an infection. <laughs> I'm holding, holding. <laughs> no, tell me, about, <laughs> tell me about the perimenopause. Lots of people have been asking about that when you know that you are in it. Well, the, it, it's really tricky. That's that's the problem. True. Uh, so it is the perimenopause is the lead up to the menopause, but you only know that you're in the menopause when you haven't had a period for twelve months. Right. So the lead up the lead up to that time is the perimenopause, and it's the time where your hormones can be much more turbulent, and so you might get symptoms mm -hmm. that last a couple of months, and then they might disappear for a couple of months, or they might change. Right. And it's it can be really tricky because you don't actually know what's going just on. Just be aware. It's the thing, isn't it? You know, you just be aware of it. We we often talk about those weird, not physical symptoms, but the emotional symptoms that you and I were saying yes, are so debilitating. Those are the ones that seep in. Mm -hmm. And often women say, I don't feel myself. I don't feel joy. Yes. I feel minimised. I feel sad. I've lost, you know, any kind of momentum to do anything. And these are often the first signs, but they've been seeping in so quietly by yes. stealth, creeping into your life. And you're a bit grey. And... Actually, there are things you can do about that, and HRT has been amazing for me mm. in terms of switching that light back on totally. in my mind and bringing me back. Like you said, your husband said. Yes, you're exactly, back. you're back. That's yeah. very true. And, and as you said, Naomi, it's not going to work for everyone, but do your research, read this book, because it's got everything in it, everything you wanted to know and more. Um, it's called Menopausing. A positive roadmap to your second spring. <laughs> you see, I like that, our second spring. Be positive, positive. Thank you both so much. Oh, it's a cracking book. It really is. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Thank Recommended. You.